here it is, a new injury reserve track that I didn't see coming. Oof, this, is, this could be a tough one. So I've certainly been vocal about my love for Injury Reserve over the years. Um, I think their self-titled album from a few years back was very, very bloody good. I think their mixtape era is fantastic too, and they have two of my favourite mixtapes of the 2010s with Live um, at the Dentist Office and also Floss. Even their EP had some of their best songs to date. Uh, they've never missed. Like, they've never missed. Sure, there's been a few Lucy singles that I can't really say I've gone back to half as much as their actual full album works, but they've never missed. It's always crazy to me when I, people, when I see people say they're mid, they're not interesting, they're not good, and I just find it crazy because I think they blend a lot of great ideas together to create some really banging beats, creative beats. Production is always so interesting. Lyrically, sure, they're not exactly, you know, penning the most poetic bars out there. They're certainly not a car or anything like that, but they are very good at getting the job done and they make fun music at the end of the day. That does have something to say. I mean, they do have strong and potent lyrics. It's not to say that you should disregard everything they say, particularly a lot of what Grogs used to pen was something that I always found to be really poignant and hits deep. But sadly, we lost Grogs, and that was where I thought we'd find Injury Reserve or injury reserve, sorry, reach the end of their path, reach the end of the road, because I thought that that was it, losing Grogs, such an important member, was going to mean that we weren't going to hear more music from them. But here they are, with a brand new album on the way, with a brand new track too, and I couldn't I couldn't miss the opportunity to react to it. So I shouldn't waste any more time. It is time to see what Knees brings us. It could be a heavy one. It could be. I'm not sure what to expect. Music's hey, strange. Okay. This is very jarring. This is quite an odd one. Definitely leading up to be a very abstract album. Is that gross? This is very strange. I, I can't muster up any words. So that was pretty strange. Uh, not really the kind of track I, I would usually react to. I don't think it offered a very entertaining watch for you to see me react to that, honestly. But I was just trying to figure out what was going on most of the time. Definitely not a one listen affair. I feel like that's going to take a few listens to really understand. Um, it was quite hard to make out a lot of what Richie was saying. I'm sure Grog's even popped up at one, top, at one point. Uh, that was hard to really figure out. But yeah, they're really uh, going in a very off-kilter direction here. This is quite an interesting way to kind of make a comeback. I, I, I wouldn't usually imagine um, this would be the pick for your lead single after, you know, taking a few years out. Uh, yeah, the, but uh, yeah, that, that's a hard one. Definitely feels like the, the sort of wonky um, uh, plunder phonics approach that a lot of experimental like artists 
take in the underground, I was feeling a bit of like Slaws and Malone, for example. So I do think, you know, um, going in that kind of direction could definitely open up a new audience, but I don't think it's going to open up a wider audience that they perhaps could have had. A new audience in the sense of the, the passionate people that are out there that absolutely adore that kind of experimental, strange side of hip-hop that is incredibly niche, but there's a big audience for it on the internet, and I think those kinds of people would really love this. And uh, if the whole album's going to be like this, I'm very intrigued to to, to see how it ends up coming together because um, it's just not what I was expecting at all but they've really done a 180 here and just completely flipped expectations because I did not see this coming but again not really one for this kind of video not really one to just listen once and just take it all in and understand what it is it's not that kind of track so yeah really intrigued to see where the album takes us. We're not even waiting that long for the album to. It's literally in about four weeks-ish. So yeah, we're, 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 we're set. We're set to see what we're going to get. We're, we're, we're close, we're close, we're close. And intrigued to see if there's more tracks that come along the way. I think if they do release another one, or maybe even another two. Oh, the lighting. Oh, the, ooh, ooh, that is weird. And... <laughs> <laughs> the, the if there is another track or maybe even another two i may do video oh, this is so weird i may do videos for those as well to kind of see the progression and where the singles go this is as experimental lighting as the track i just listened to this is weird but yeah interested to see where things go basically and um looking forward to what they do next of course I still have huge respect for them especially continuing after what happened i think that takes a lot of uh yeah well a lot of i there's no word really to, to 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 replace what i'm trying to say here that that is that is just a lot of power in you to to carry on so yeah um let me let me know your thoughts anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments very intrigued about this one um would love to see what you guys think subscribe if you haven't already and have a good day goodbye